I don't believe it. The whole holiday, my voice has sounded like a constipated donkey. And now it's finally happened. Puberty. Thanks for speaking to me today, Troy. No worries. Thanks for all the cream soda and bathers and mugs and everything. <laughs> no problem at all. <laughs> so the story continues. Mm -hmm. How has Spud grown from the first movie? He's grown so much. I mean, I think it's kind of evident when you watch the movie. Um, it was really, really cool to kind of play that growth and um, explore it a little bit. And I think, I think in general, the franchise has grown. It, this this movie feels a lot kind of like bigger. And um, yeah, it, it was it was such a good experience to work on this one. And um, I think, to be honest, I think we're kind of going back to the roots of the book and 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 feeling, you know, kind of that that yeah. spirit, you know, that really, you know, funny, funny, funny stuff from the books. It's all there this time, yeah. and um, I think the, the Spud fans are going to really appreciate that. I hope at least. Well, that's, I mean, the general opinion, like after the premieres and stuff has been, people are saying that it's better than the first, so I think that's all we can really ask for, you know. That's awesome. Mm. Your brother and sister make a cameo in this one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how important is it to you to have your family with you on set? Do they, do they hang around for the whole time that you're shooting? Not the whole time. I just think, um, I mean, we're, we're a very, very close family, and so I, I just, at any opportunity, I love having them around, and um, I mean, stuff is fun, but uh, unless you're sharing it with someone, I don't really think you know there's any point. Mm. So um, yeah, no, it's just I, it's just one of those things that I really I enjoy having them around, and um, you know, at any given opportunity, I'll push them in front of the camera so they can get like a little you know a little time to shine as well. Yeah. So my sister, yeah, like you said, my sister and brother are in the movie. And did you cool. feel any pressure going from the first one to the second one? Like it was very successful in South Africa. Yeah, yeah. Did you feel some pressure going to the second one? Definitely, yeah. I mean, it, and that pressure is both like good and bad. But um, it just it kind of just makes you nervous. You know, you you've just you've got that pressure of topping the first one, and um, I think I think we, I think we did it. So yeah, it's cool. At the end of last year, you started blogging, mm -hmm. vlogging quite yeah. re uh, regularly. Yep. What makes you want to sit down and talk to a camera? Boredom more than anything else, I think. Um, no, I, yeah, I was just, I was kind of just sitting around, and um, I, I've, I'd seen plenty of vloggers, vloggers in the past. I've been watching YouTubers since like, since I started on YouTube in two thousand seven, and I've always thought it was something that you know, like, oh, I'd love to do that, you know, like, and I've always thought that I, that I could do it, but um, I just didn't really know if anyone would care what I have to say, you know. So mm. it, it kind of took me a while, and um, I just thought. That I'd put up a, a video introducing myself to my fans, you know, my, my subscribers on my channel um, who were there from singing videos, because um, I've been making singing videos on YouTube since 2007, um, and I thought I'd just introduce them, um, to, you know, to me, and then the week after that I made another video, and the week after that I made another video, and mm. um, it just kind of snowballed, and soon I was in this weekly schedule of making videos every Saturday, and um, I'm enjoying it more than ever, and my channel's grown, which is really really cool. So um, speaking yeah, of your cool. fans, a lot of them have said they want to know how has this vlogging influenced your life? How has it changed your life? It's changed my life like far, far, far more than I thought it would. Like than I, I ever could have thought it would. I mean, first of all, I now kind of have like the day job of you know every week I've got you know I've got to make a video by the end of the week. So you know I spend maybe a day writing the video, a day filming the video, and then you know like um, editing and uploading. So you know three days out of the week I'm, I'm busy working on videos. And then the other the other days, I don't think people really realize how um, how like complex things can get once mm. you know once you start on YouTube. Uh, next thing you know, I was like designing T-shirts and selling merchandise, and um, I'm going overseas, you know, going to these like YouTube conventions and meeting new people, and um, got some really really just awesome opportunities coming up, um, and it's all it's all from YouTube. So um, I just I think it's the coolest thing in the world that you can kind of start off in your bedroom in September. And you know, here we are, like what is it, eight months later or something like that, and my life is completely, completely different. It's awesome. Yeah, it's very cool. So in comments on those videos, you get a lot of fan girls. Yeah, fan girls. <laughs> um, what do you? How do you respond to a, co uh, a comment like, "My ovaries are exploding"? Well, like, what does that even mean? I, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a fan girl at heart. You know, like I, <laughs> I fan girl all the time. Um, I'm trying to think the last time I fangirl. Anytime somebody cool follows me on Twitter, I, I fangirl, you know? So um, I get it, I think. I, I find it strange that people fangirl over me, but um, <laughs> yeah, I just, I kind of join in on the fun and respond to comments and um, tweets and stuff like that as much as I can. And um, it's actually one of my favorite things. I'll respond to a tweet and then like 10 minutes later, I'll go back onto the person's Twitter page and they're just like speaking in gibberish or whatever. They're fangirling and that, that is yeah. so, so cool. You know, like it's just, it's one of the coolest things that I can do. Yeah. Um, so yeah. There's a definite raunchiness to popular YouTube vloggers. Mm -hmm. Is that like 
Is that something that you think is necessary to do well on YouTube? Um, I don't know if it's it's necessary. I just think that um, I mean, I'm an 18 year old boy, and a lot of, a lot of the the vloggers who are, who have the raunchiness that you're talking about are 18 year old boys or 19 year old boys, and I, I don't really know. You know, I think that people should kind of expect it, but at, at the same time, it does do well on YouTube. You know, that that kind mm. of thing it does. It gets the gets the views and. Um, you know, if you're making good content, then once you've got the views, you can get the subscribers and everything, and it all just kind of builds from there. So um, I don't think it's necessary. I think there's plenty of people who do it without it, but um, I mean, that's the thing that I love about YouTube is that when I am making the videos, it's literally just me sitting in my bedroom with the camera. So um, I just kind of, I, I'm 100% myself. You know, the, the, the Troy that you see on YouTube is the Troy that would hang out with his friends or, you know, like, like that. That's that's who I am. So. If there is any raunchiness or anything like that, I'm just I'm just being myself, you know. Yes. Yeah. Well, Spud is pretty raunching, it's raunching yeah, yeah, itself. Yeah, so yeah. Hopefully, those same people that are loving you are gonna love the film. Yeah, exactly. Thank you so much, Troy. No worries. Thank you.